Hey guys, it's your girl Nikki Marina. I'm here talking to you today about how I was able to get 10 over 10,000 followers on TikTok in about a month. So a lot of creators are switching over to TikTok um, because the algorithm isn't as messed up and constricting as Instagram and YouTube. I posted one video, it got about 100,000 views overnight and I realized like I have something here. I do very niche content. Uh, I'm a singer and an actor and that is like what I've been trying to promote on social media for the last few years. And this is where I kind of had to swallow my pride and just go with what works. Um, the video that I posted was making fun of my, my favorite anime, which is My Hero Academia. And here's the, this is the video that I posted right here. On a scale of Deku to Kachan, how angry are you? I'd say more like Tokoyami with Dark Shadow, but at night. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so yeah, that got like over a hundred thousand likes overnight. And I realized that it's because this is very niche content. It's not too mainstream. Anime is not like a really mainstream thing. Um, and the market is not too saturated with that kind of content, but it is a it does have a very very loyal fan following, and so if you can tap into like a niche market where it's not too mainstream, but the followers are very dedicated and very passionate, like anime, then you can really harness uh, the viewing power there. Uh, my TikTok is basically me doing skits of scenes that never happened in My Hero Academia or things that I imagined would happen behind the scenes. It's basically a one woman Saturday Night Live show just completely based on anime and mostly My Hero Academia because that's what's popping right now in the world of anime. That's what's the most mainstream. Another way, another key is that I started posting every day the TikTok algorithm will reward you basically if it, um, it determines that you are creating regularly on a regular basis. And the way I understand it, uh, the way the algorithm goes in TikTok is that um, it, when you post a video and you hashtag it, it sends it to a small like test group of viewers. And if it performs well in that group, then it moves on to a bigger one and it'll broadcast it to more, um, more people and then so on and so forth. Another major key um, is not to try too hard and to be yourself. Uh, <laughs> if you're a natural entertainer and that's what you do, um, then just have faith that you're good at what you do. and. Um, I try to um, try to capture the lightning in the bottle of that first video and it was just me being stupid and me just being me so when I do my daily videos I try not to overthink it I try to just have fun with it I just I don't try too hard to be funny I really just sometimes I just watch the anime over and over again and I'm just like okay yeah, that would be funny. And it just comes to me naturally. So I try not to try too much. Some days I post three videos, some days I post one. It really depends on how I'm feeling. Um, and But mostly I've just learned to just be myself and be um, just the most genuine version of me that I can. People really like my impression of Shota Aizawa, or Eraserhead from My Hero Academia, which is basically just me being deadpan with aviator glasses and an infinity scarf. And if you're a fan of the anime, you know how funny, you know how funny that is. It's just the most lazy cosplay of that character possible. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, follow me on TikTok at Nikki Marina, N-I-C-Q-U-E-M-A-R-I-N-A. -E Same on Instagram and then this channel here, Nikki Marina. Uh, channel name is The Nikki Robinson. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys out there hopefully on TikTok.